Secrets of the Acolyte's New Lightsaber Whip Revealed by Star Rebecca Henderson Rebecca Henderson who portrays Bernice Drouot in Star Wars' upcoming TV show The Acolyte has revealed some of the secrets surrounding her epic weapon the Light Whip. This lightsaber type was first introduced in Star Wars Legends previously known as the Expanded Universe and has since become canon in the High Republic era. Bernistra is the Jedi who wields the purple weapon something seen often with her character in the High Republic books and comics. Now it will finally be seen in live action and Henderson is revealing some secrets about it ahead of its debut. Here's everything we know about the Acolytes cast and the characters they will be portraying in Star Wars' most mysterious project yet. While speaking with Collider Henderson reveals exactly how the weapon is activated into its whip form and the dangers that can come with it. She first breaks down the mechanics of it informing viewers of a twist in the hilt that allows the lightsaber to transform into a whip and then explains how Bernistra is able to do this so easily. Now that she's comfortable with the weapon having wielded it for many years she can even use the force to activate this feature. You do have to twist the hilt to turn it into the light whip basically. At this point I believe she can do that with the force. She no longer has to do it with her hands. And then you just have to be really careful because that thing flies around. It could take your head off. Still Henderson speaks about the dangers of such a weapon particularly with its freedom of movement. Even though its intentional activation with the twist in the hilt helps to an extent the way the whip flies around makes it easier to harm not just unintentional targets but also the wielder themselves. Vernistra's ability to wield this weapon with such confidence thus proves how skilled she is as a Jedi something that will no doubt be showcased in the Acolyte. A prodigy among the Jedi of the High Republic Bernistra Vernruo was one of the youngest Jedi ever to achieve the rank of Knight. She served at a time of crisis for the Republic battling on the front lines against the Nihil the Nameless and the Drenger and proving herself wise beyond her years. Vern will appear in live action in the Acolyte set over a hundred years after she became a master at the tail end of the High Republic era. What's perhaps most exciting about the Light Whip is that its appearance in the Acolyte will make good on lore that first debuted nearly 40 years ago. In 1985 the comic Star Wars, 1977-95 by Mary Jo Duffy introduced the Light Whip through the Sith Lady Lumiya who wielded the weapon in a fight against Luke Skywalker himself. It went on to appear a few more times throughout Legends before ultimately returning to canon with Bernistra and now it will finally be seen in live action. This is just the first of many expanded universe hat tips the Acolyte already has and will continue to make thanks to showrunner Leslie Headland's passion for the Legends continuity. This however also makes good on canon material by bringing an important element of the High Republic to life which makes the Light Whip's live action debut even more special. Though it's already been teased in a recent trailer the Light Whip will no doubt see some more incredible action in the Acolyte which is set to release in just one more week. The Acolyte premieres on June 4th on Disney+. Plus. Source, Collider. The Acolyte is a television series set in the Star Wars universe at the end of the High Republic era where both the Jedi and the Galactic Empire were at the height of their influence. This sci-fi thriller sees a former Padawan reunite with her former Jedi Master as they investigate several crimes, all leading to darkness erupting from beneath the surface and preparing to bring about the end of the High Republic. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. The Acolyte star Daphne Keen says that she had a custom lightsaber a Shoto blade made for Star Wars upcoming series because of her height. Jessica Knight's impending exit from MCRT will kick off the inevitable erasure of Mark Harmon's Leroy Jethro Gibbs erasure from CBS NCIS. Olivier Richters who was cast as Polly in the upcoming Reacher season 3 towers over the already tall Alan Rich son who plays the title role. Brit Gurdon season 3 is the first season after the premiere of Queen Charlotte and because of that one character feels much different from before. The Simpsons season 35 finale featured a dark hidden secret joke that almost brought one long-standing character feud to a surprisingly brutal end. Mike Coulter has recently expressed doubt regarding his return as Luke Cage meaning the character could be recast for any number of brilliant actors. 
After watching one of Amazon's best sci-fi shows from recent years I have been growing increasingly worried about an Apple TV Plus show's future seasons.